Yo, 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 yo. It's D. Arthur in the building. I'm, I'm talking to you guys today about what, why semen retention will help you change from a loser's mindset to a winner's mindset. And the thing is, like, what is a definition of a loser? In my personal opinion, the definition of a loser is someone who sees a problem. Maybe it's with their with their weight. Maybe it's with their finances. Maybe it's with their lifestyle. Maybe it's with something. And they do nothing different to change their circumstances. Now, there's one there's there's one thing of of seeing the problem and doing something actively, changing something about what you're doing consistently over making a change to get a different result but a person who basically complains about something about his or her life and does nothing about it they have a victim mentality they think that it's everybody else's fault as to why they're not where they want to be they, they say things like they say things like she only likes this type of guy he only likes this type of guy he only likes this he's only into this he's only into that and the thing is it's it's about like it really comes down to like who really know it's 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 about information and who applies information it's about who who knows things and who actually applies the information that they know because you can know a plethora of knowledge. You can listen to every podcast. You can listen. You can read every book under the sun. But if you don't apply any of the things that you've learned into your life consistently, then you're just doing it in vain. You're just having a brain overload. Your brain is just going. It, it just has a plethora of knowledge, but they're not doing. A man can sit and read every diet book in the world about different types of diets. But he never, if he never gets up and t t does the change, does the consistent habits that would, that would affect him, let's say losing weight if that's what he wants, then he would still be the same person. And <clears throat> the thing about the thing about let's say psychologically, what women are psychologically hardwired to want, they want winners. They're psychologically think about life as being a race. Think about the some, certain type of women as being at the finish line and picking the winners, putting this this sort of performance for the winners, acting a certain way for the winners. This this I guess you could call it survival of the fittest if that's what you want to call it. But it, it pretty much comes down to winners mindset. Who has who has the growth mindset, the projectory mindset, and who has the the now mindset? And your actions pretty much play a big dictate this your actions di dictate this <clears throat> because if your actions are aligned if you if if your actions are aligned for instant gratification if your actions are aligned for the weekend if you're hardwired to live for the weekend instead of if you're hardwired to to work to live instead of living if, if you're hardwired to live to work, live to work, live to trade time for money or to work, to live, work now so you can l really live later, then that's what you'll get. See, the thing is about semen retention is semen retention helps you realize that whatever you really wanted, whatever you've always maybe talked about, whatever you really wanted, those deep subconscious desires you're no longer they're no longer going to be you're not no, you're no longer going to ignore them anymore you're no longer going to ignore them you're you're going to let your truest desires the truest the freest person you are the your true desires really show and express yourself you're going to express yourself uh fully like like I said semen retention helps you change the mindset from loser to winner because you start realizing because this is the thing this is the thing this is why so many people are so very live have voids in their life because of, because this is what they've been doing. They've been relapsing on themselves on their own. So their brain and their brain doesn't think that they need to make any adjustments to anything because, like I said, your, your brain if if you go for a if you if you if you go for a long time on retention, your brain 
And if man was put here to pro procreate, if you if you go for a very long time, the brain is going to think that this man isn't fulfilling his duty of procreating. He must be not that attractive. He must not have any assets. He must not have anything to offer anybody. So what it does, it, it goes into hard mode. It goes into this mode where it makes you very, it, it, it helps you become more attractive, basically. Meaning if you have a lot of acne on your skin, it may tend to clear up. Um, you might have a deeper voice. Your your gym gains might be increased. Your mindset about life might change. You start living at the brighter side of things. They're, they're always giving excuses. They're always saying about how things can't do anything when they haven't done anything. They haven't changed anything. They're always telling the, the winners that they're, they got lucky. They're always never believing in things. They always think that everything out is either a scam or it's not really meant to help you. They always think they they're always operating from the competitive mind. There's two there's two there's two types of minds, the creative mind and the competitive mind. Now the competitive mind is the one where they think that money is a zero sum game where you have to take from other people to get what you want to get ahead. They don't believe that abundance is for all. They think that you have to take from other people to get what you want. You have to cheat other people to get what you want. And this is not the truth. This is from the competitive mind. <clears throat> and the thing is, like, if you if you keep doing the same thing, and if you keep complaining about the same thing, and you just keep doing the same thing, over overall, you're gonna have pretty much the same life. Things are gonna be this are gonna pretty much be the same. There's a cause and effect. But if you do something maybe a little bit different, if you're not happy about something, do something just a little bit different and keep doing that consistently over a period of time, what will tend to happen is your life will sort of morph into the thing that you want it to become. Also, visualization helps with this. Because the thing is, when you go on retention, you have increased spiritual awareness, increased spiritual powers. You, you start realizing that the physical, the physical world that we see is not all there is to life. The physical world that we see is not all there is to life. There is a spiritual world. We actually all are spiritual beings having a physical experience. So everything is connected. Every single, your most dominant thoughts, whatever tends to bombard your mind most often, is basically what you're, is, is what you're going to be slowly turned, you're, what, is what you're slowly becoming. So you have to start realizing that everything that kind of happens for you because of your dominant thoughts is basically getting you closer to your dominant thoughts. So there's there's actually there's no there's actually no such thing as obstacles. They might appear as obstacles, but what they really are are just they're basically let's say hurdles. They're 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 things where they're just they're they're things where they may be laid out in front of you and it's up to you to do to use your critical thinking skills and to to, to re remove ignorance and use your critical thinking skills to try to overcome the objection and get closer to where you want to be so i mean people think that all these bad things start happening and they think they tend to give up and they just think it's a lost cause but really what it is, it's a test. And what you have to really do is start use, using your critical thinking skills. Because everybody has a brain. It's just that not everybody uses 100% of their brain. They always think that things are out to get them. They all, they're they always operating from the, the... They're always thinking that they're a victim. They always think that no nothing everything is against them. They, they never look at the positive side of things. They're always... They're always talking about <clears throat> the sh their shortcomings and they n they're never really positive see if if you're if you're a negative person you're making your life a lot harder than it has to be and this is not this is this this has, this has nothing to do with any sort of delusion or anything we're just trying we're just realizing that the way we look at life is what we get so even if a situation comes into your life where you're not really too happy about you have to start to flip the script and change the story of what it could really be telling you. What it could really be telling you. And this is pretty much how... This is pretty much how 
you overcome a lot of things and you be, you really get what you want because the thing is people think that success brings happiness and no it's actually happiness brings success because if you have a positive mindset if you have a positive attitude and you, whatever naturally comes into your life you're overcoming and you're creating a story that that tends to make you seem like everything is still for you and this is just something maybe to teach you something then you have an advantage over a lot of people because they really think life is just happening to them. All the things that happen to them is is because they're is because of their circumstances or they they're always getting short ends of the bargains. And it, that really isn't the case. It's about that everything realize that your life is pretty much a story and you're the one who's creating it and everything that's happening to you is just helping you get closer to your goal. And the thing is like I said, semen retention helps you helps you realize from this perspective because if you're re relapsing consistently you're not operating from your highest vibration that you can be it's just not as possible it's just not as possible if you're not if you're not really that in shape you're not operating from your highest vibration that you could possibly be living in if you're not reading very good positive material and spiritual material you're not operating from your the highest vibration that you can be living in and highest vibration just means the best mood feeling that you can really be having because like i said this just goes down to to logic a person who is more in shape he's just going to be a lot more positive he's just going to be happier because other people tend to treat him how he treats himself like for an example this is just an example if you're if you're an in shape type if you're in shape you're going to get more choosing signals regardless just because people tend to find fit bodies more attractive than unfit bodies and this will help you if you're consuming very positive material very good mindset things entrepreneurial minded things entrepreneur if you're operating from this if you're operating from an entrepreneurial mindset this is just this is another just logical thing entrepreneurs tend to live healthier and happier lives than employees than people who work for a living this is just another example so if you're fit you you make let's say you make your own money you're on retention and you find out about about things and you you have a critical and you problem solve very and you have a really good brain where you can problem solve you're operating from a very high vibration and like i said high vibration means high mood good vibes and if you have good vibes more more good vibes will start to um come into your to your life because 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 another thing like like i said if you're operating from a very high vibration if you're operating from a very high mood um things that make may make you happy start entering your life and this is just an example this is just a very example so I, I was I was at a desk and then someone 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 gave me this magazine today and it was just about like it was a, it was it was a it was a it was it was the magazine of entrepreneur and it was it had the title young millionaires on it and they just said that it was a mess up like the person this basically wasn't it, it basically wasn't for the person that what it was given to so he basically just thought that I would want it for some reason. This person has no idea of what my values or what I'm really about. He just he just randomly gave it to me. Now all all I uh, now uh, any random person could just think, oh, this is just let's say a coincidence. This is just something that just so happened, and the you you just so happen to be interested in the topic of entrepreneur. But what what I realized is this could be um, an indication, let's say from the most high, that your the the mood that you're in is very high, and now things that you naturally are drawn to will just start entering your life. This could be what it is. It's anybody's guess, but this is just my take on it. So yeah, it was an entrepreneur, the entrepreneur magazine, and someone just randomly handed it to me just because he, he it wasn't his it it was he thought it was a mess up so yeah uh like i said this, this is just an example but all i'm saying is high vibrational things things that you're pretty much drawn to will start becoming normal to you once you're operating from a high vibration a high mood once you're retaining for a very long period of time once you're listening to very 
uplifted material. You're just going to be a happier and positive person. And now things that mirror that will start entering your life. And this is pretty much how you create a very significant and abundant life. Because if you're always negative, if you're always looking at the worst possible case scenario, you think scarcity, you think lack, then those things will be given to you. This is this is law. This is rules. This is it says it in the in the in the Bible. It says it. It says it. Who, wh whoever has will be grant will be given more, and whoever doesn't have more will be taken from him. So I mean, you can live your life how you want to live it. But yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um. That's pretty much it. But yeah, like if this video made any sense. If you have any questions about what happened. Comment and subscribe below. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.